been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. From what I just heard, sounds like you're out of business. Are you kidding me? I'm not about to let a couple of gunner rejects stand between me and a solid payday. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I don't want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Something wrong with your hearing? So, are you in, or should I get back to my drink? You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. You there. We need to have a conversation. Beautiful whistle. You got my attention. And you got my attention by poking your nose into my business. Specifically, by shooting up a place called Parsons State Insane Asylum. A place that happens to be owned by my boss. I shoot up a lot of places. Can't remember them all. The guards sure remember you. The ones that are still breathing. But I don't hold any of that against you. Part of the cost of doing business these days. I took the trouble of tracking you down because I'm always looking for people that can handle themselves in dangerous situations. Seems like you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like it. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. Let's see what you got. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it.
Heads up. What is it? me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, one moment. 
You'll be right with it. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Probably for the best if it was all wiped away. So whoever comes next can start fresh. I don't share your pessimistic view. I still believe that human civilization has a chance to regain its lost glories. This is one reason I'm so passionate about my work. If I can learn the secrets of the ancients, perhaps we can avoid their fate. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was... interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. 
I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. That's all I needed to know. Well then, I guess we're done. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Just don't bring any trouble. Splitting all that, right?
Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not so did you find out what happened to the courier? She is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Is missing and I want Just some found. raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Maybe she's been lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. We've been over this, Mother. Whoever lives I here must have to deal see with the devil. Happening to Imogene right now. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Yes. Entertainments down the stairs. Hey. Smell that? That's freedom. Boy, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! 
This guy wants a word. Charlie. Hold her up. I'll forever hold your damn mouth shut. Let's see what you have. Cash up front. No tabs. Lick it up. Got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Sounds up my alley. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know what it is. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Listen here, you. I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some heads. You're blocking my light, man. Excuse me, miss. Why, hello. Did you like the song? I love the song. It was perfect. She's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to lie low. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear. And regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. Hey, Magnolia. Hello again. Something I can do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Uh, Magnolia. So Something I can do for you, Hanson? my pleasant company. Do you know Imogene later. Cabot? That depends on why you're looking for her. Her family's worried that something's happened to her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Mmm, Brother Thomas? Yes. That's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. 
I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Decide to change your life today. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you even talking to these morons? I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Maybe they'd rather spend the last few seconds of their lives with a gaping hole in their chest. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. You mess with one of them. <laughs>
Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought he could force me to join his absurd cult. I hope you weren't too attached to Thomas. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Excuse me. Not now. Oh Edward, my God, switch it's over to the Hartley terrible. Modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... If they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. 
At least one small comfort on this third day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? There's no time for that right now. I'll explain on the way. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let... We come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Look at that. Somebody just left him like he was Ready? junk. Let's go. You should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. Hey there. Come on. We need to find out what's happening at Parsons. Pick this. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is going to be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, wait. Who's there? This
up, guy. Come on! I think I can pick this. are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, yes. like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think... It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. Perfect. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter to me. I have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. You may have guessed by now that my family and I have lived for a very long time, thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. I eventually isolated the anomalous compounds, which led to the serum treatment we still use. Why can't you remove the artifact? When Lorenzo put it on, it somehow fused itself with his nervous system. All my early attempts to remove it nearly killed him. Since then, I've confined myself to trying to understand how it works in the hopes of neutralizing or disabling it. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too.
place. Let's hope we can find a way to place. Utility you shouldn't be on the here. Come on, if I find you, I'm putting anything. a fucking bullet in your head. I don't care if you're already dead. Yeah. Not exactly the pushover that we were promised. Someone there? Open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. Sounds like you had a rough time of it back there. Rough? That's putting it mildly. Let's put it this way. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. 
You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. We need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors. Hurry it up! Best the hurry door. it up. Hurry! So the is quite capable of stopping you. This task was beyond your capabilities. That's it. The jet was. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Revelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one? Have any other choice, did we? It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly have no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Thanks. One more thing. 
I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Hope we find milk of human kindness soon. Walk and talk boring. Humans should fight more. Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat? Strong want to smash something. So many humans.
bigger than strong Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat. Someday, super mutants kill everything.
Self-diagnostic complete. I'm happy to report that I won't be falling apart on you anytime soon. Just about. I hope it does not rain. So much walking. Want to do more fighting? So many humans. Not many super mutants.
Oh, or do what? Whoever lives here is the devil. So who let the cleaning robot loose in here? I don't need anything right now, thank you. Edward, got a minute? Yeah. What's up? Hey. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Promising. Oh, unless you're suddenly you want? collecting junk, you might want to skip this. Do you want?
Hi. Ah, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. How does it work? It uses standard energy cells for power. The artifact's internal power supply was destroyed. Otherwise, point and shoot. It doesn't kill people, but you may still be able to find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. <laughs>